welcome to online resource in this video we are going to learn how to uh, add uh, how to add a node uh, to an existing cluster uh, in this demo i will be giving you overview of overview of new overview of a new node uh, just prepare to add existing cluster number two uh, will be um, various option while adding uh, adding nodes uh, to an existing cluster uh, keep in mind that I have a node right here. Uh, please watch my video. I have put together a separate video how to prepare a node to, uh, to install SQL Server in clustering mode. That had uh, that has much more detail, uh, step by step. All, all the Windows feature that's required, all the SQL Server uh, prerequisites uh, that required to have SQL Server installed in clustering mode. So let's take an uh, overview of the uh, node that uh, that I just prepared to add it uh, to cluster right now. Uh, right now I have two nodes node cluster and it has tbs node 1 and tbs node 2 and uh, this is tbs node 3 i just prepare to be added in add an existing cluster so let's take a look and i just wanted to walk in quickly uh, through the feature that i have installed i have uh, right here right here uh, application feature i uh, just wanted to go ahead and install uh, msdtc services and uh, in cluster mode that that's why i added added uh, this feature uh, do need to uh, basically go ahead and uh, add DTC services if you want to do uh, install the DTC role in an existing cluster if you are installing for SQL Server 2008 and app it's optional you don't need to in case um, you don't want to uh, install MS DTC services you need to add this role uh, in every node that you prepare for SQL Server other uh, the thing right here uh, .NET Framework 3.5 um, features and uh, create don't let don't uh, pre please uh, don't let me fool. Uh, if you have .NET uh, Framework 4.5 or above, you might uh, think that uh, uh, this probably contain uh, .NET Framework 3.5. So, but that's not the case. You have to separately install .NET Framework 3.5 uh, right here. Uh, so that is pretty big. Without that, uh, your SQL Server uh, installation will fail. Uh, so next. Uh, 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 fail over clustering feature uh, right here that's mandatory without that uh, your validation cluster will fail so these are the few big few things that i want to mention that you when you prepare a node to be added uh, uh, existing cluster you make sure that uh, these features windows features are installed correctly and uh, there are other things uh, such as uh, share tricks all that in this demo um, i am just going to show you how to add a node to an existing cluster some of the big features that i i don't have any shared disk uh, attached to this node and because i just want to show you you want to you want uh, you want to know to how add shared disk to please watch my video as i put that uh, in beginning so reference so uh, that has all the detail so let's go ahead and use um, uh, failover cluster manager and we will be go ahead and you can use failover cluster manager when any of the node that is already attached already added to an existing cluster so keep in mind that we are going to go ahead and add tbs node 3 uh, to our existing cluster so let's go ahead and go to the node 1 uh, and here is my failover cluster manager and as you can see right now i have two node uh, tbs node 1 and tbs node 2 and i have roles right here uh, already installed to sql server instances sql prat sql uat and i have tbs msdtc role already installed so uh, these two uh, instances of sql server has the disk already mm, but as i said that uh, uh, this the in this demo uh, will be just adding a node to an existing cluster so i am going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, basically nodes and click on and add node that there are various options failover cluster manager you can go ahead and add resource such as node and i'm going to go ahead and click on nodes and click on add nodes right here you can also right click and add click and add node so uh, let's go ahead and add nodes click on add nodes uh, this will open up and uh, wizard and node wizard and click next right here you need to put server name or node name uh, i'm going to go ahead and add this tvs node 3 and when you click add basically it checks the communication between 
uh, between your cluster and uh, this node uh, if you cannot uh, if if um, cannot communicate uh, with this node uh, a, a, a node node 3 is going to be error that it cannot find this uh, your server uh, uh, as you can see that it has already got uh, my domain name and uh, that uh, that means that uh, it can communicate uh, communicate with node 3 well so click next this is very important whenever you add any resources i would recommend you to go ahead and run the validation of cluster that will make sure that your cluster is in good and this will not break anything and your resource so in this demo a new resource is uh, is not i would recommend that and click yes and uh, unless you have already uh, run the validation you can uh, basically click on no uh, and the go ahead and add node adding node is not an issue basically uh, uh, mm, configuration is uh, something that you need to at a pay attention is sure that the configuration report shouldn't show any error or any critical warning so mm, if i click on yes you can it it gonna takes a little bit time and to run the validation so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, choose yes and i have run the uh, validation on this node so i'm gonna go ahead and click yes click next uh, click next uh, it can uh, it asking right here uh, to run all the test and uh, uh, but I want uh, it run only system test I don't have disk and test attached to this particular those particular node if you do have uh, uh, shared risk uh, please go ahead and run all the tests that's recommended i would recommend you if you're adding a node to your production you need to run all all the tests right here click next uh, all they want to make sure is uh, basically i don't want a storage system configuration and uh, i do a network in network inventory cluster uh, uh, I don't have a storage uh, it's gonna give me error or set and but uh, I just gonna make sure that cluster configuration yes what I am looking for at this moment uh, system configuration let me check mm, system configuration is what I want a network also because I have added the network private and uh, external so let's go ahead and this run this test click next and click next it will uh, start running the test and it will it's gonna take probably for me about uh, five to ten minutes uh, and i will pause the video as soon as the validation is completed i'll be back do have some uh, concern right here application by big uh, and you can see the big red x right here so uh, you might uh, go ahead and view the report right now and see the where the issue why are the issues you can always come back and look at the rep uh, report later on uh, but let's take a look uh, these are the warning right here cluster configuration warning see what it says validate resource uh, mm, first is uh, validating cluster resource is sql server prod and uat because i have configured them to run on separate so uh, in your production you you don't uh, uh, your disk it have this warning so please t take care uh, this warning and go through this uh, warning this is important before you add anything in your cluster so that's why i uh, we uh, mm, th run the this way so that's that, that just uh, look what is going on to adding node will not create any issues existing cluster so uh, multiple subnet i do have multiple uh, cluster is set to one for current configuration this value should be set to zero so after the um, network name and tbs cluster is set to one so it's just a uh, warning you need to take care of that uh, our big thing is uh, i just wanted to show you if you run the validation report you will see some of the uh, error as uh, error and some of the warnings and these are some of the this warning are prior are, are that need to be take care, take, take care of uh, I, I, so, uh, uh, you must have to uh, take care of this uh, warning so I am clicking finish and um, I click on 
right here now because right now it gave us uh, again you uh, might have ran here and taken care of those warning and uh, uh, and you can run the uh, up here test again so when I click run configuration validus test and return to process and adding node so um, I'm gonna go ahead and click no click next this is the eligible node right now uh, TBS node 3 mm, this is uh, what I want or I wanted to have in, in our existing cluster click next and it uh, now it is in process of adding node to our existing cluster as you can see that adding node in it's completed and uh, click finish and uh, our node is right in the class uh, cluster right here and uh, node 3 so right now it doesn't have any resources if you click and network it has two network connection right here you wanna take a look it uh, it, it is 92.168.2.3 this is the private network and uh, this is external it has communication between cluster and in your organization network so these are the IP addresses roles it doesn't have any roles right now it doesn't have any disk right now and uh, you don't see much here but as I said that um, uh, th in this demo I will show you how to add node in an existing cluster so that's all I would do thank you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe